Hello, I'm Jack Koenig with Graco Industrial Lubrication Equipment, and this is a grease control valve. When you squeeze the handle, it allows your pneumatic barrel pump to pump the grease. When you close the handle, the pump stalls under pressure and it stops. This is also a grease control valve. This is the autofill shutoff valve that is incorporated into the design of our compact Dynastar pumps. This is similar in function, but it works the opposite way. When you push the pin in, it actually closes the valve. So at rest, the valve is open, the grease flows in and right through it into the pump under the follower plate. But then as the follower plate rises, we can see there's a pin right here for the one that's installed. The follower plate comes up, it pushes that pin up and that closes the valve and it will cause your pneumatic barrel pump to stall under pressure and stop pumping, preventing you from overfilling your reservoir. And if you want electronic indication, this is part number 563-272. It's the Trayvon cycle switch used on Trayvon divider valves for many decades. It's a very tried and true switch. It slides right on there and now with this clamped on, the pin can push that up and give you an electronic signal. So now that we've had a quick overview of how this grease control valve works similarly to a handheld grease control valve, let's take a look at an animation that our company has put together to show how this process works inside of the compact Dynastar pump. This is the empty reservoir now where we're starting with a new pump and the grease is flowing in from that barrel pump wherever it is and going down through the tube and tube and filling the reservoir from below the follower plate. And now as the follower plate gets to the top, there's that pin at the bottom of the autofill shutoff valve. And as it's pushed up, it cuts off that grease flow. So now any pneumatic barrel pump would have stalled and stopped. And then the grease is pumped out by the compact Dynastar pump just during normal operation. So now once you get to your empty state, you see the low level on the controller and you're gonna know that it's time to connect and refill this unit again. Between the cutaway view here and that animation, hopefully the operation of the autofill shutoff valve is a lot more clear now. But before I let you go, I also wanna talk about the accessory that we usually pair with the autofill shutoff valve, which is our remote fill manifold assembly. I have an existing video that explains the function of this valve and some useful tips related to it as another video already. So I'm gonna refer you to that and I highly recommend that you check that video out so that you have a better understanding of what this is and what it does. In this video, I wanna specifically now show you how to connect this to the Compact Dynastar because we changed things up a little bit to try to make it a little bit easier to route the hoses. So let's take a closer look in here and add a couple of hoses to this valve to connect it to the pump. Here we are seeing the backside of the CDS pump. This is the motor up here. We can see actually the autofill shutoff valve is right here next to the inlet. And then there's this plug back here, which is actually the port that you connect the vent line to. When we look at the autofill shutoff valve up close, we can see a V and an O. The O is the actual outlet and the V is the vent line because it connects to this knob or plunger that is used to vent the grease pressure from these lines. And again, if you refer to that existing video, you'll have a better idea of what I'm talking about. So we need to remove the fill stud, which I had already loosened, so it came right out. Once the stud is removed, we need to also remove this plug, and you'll need an Allen wrench for that. You can either use an eight millimeter or a 5 16 I actually would recommend that you get these bits for your ratchet because it'll be easier to get this out with a ratchet. The next thing that we highly recommend is that you use a street elbow that is the compact type with the square head. A one and one sixteenths inch 12 point socket is what's good for these square heads because then it fits right in there. You wanna put some liquid thread sealant on this, not Teflon tape, but liquid thread sealant, but I'm just dry fitting this today. So I'm going to just twist this in here. Now that I've got my street elbow installed. I also installed a 3 8 to 1 quarter inch adapter into this because I'm working with quarter inch hoses today. Quarter inch hoses are big enough for short runs where 
these hoses are each about six feet long. If you're gonna do longer runs, you might wanna consider 3 8 hose, which is part of the reason we use that porting. But now I have my hose installed into that V port on the remote fill manifold, so I can just connect it here. And for the other hose, it just goes into the O for outlet. And again, I'm just dry fitting these today, but you should be putting liquid thread sealant on these in the field. We don't like Teflon tape because it can break off and end up downstream in the system and wreak havoc on the metering devices. And then now we're gonna just put our hose into the inlet of the pump where the fill stud was. And that's how that connects. Now you have these two hoses running together instead of with the older pumps that have a fill stud at the bottom of the reservoir and then that's where you have to connect the vent. We designed this so that you could just run these together. Now you could either put some spiral wrap around these or some other kind of sheathing or you could even just throw a couple of zip ties on here to clean it up if it doesn't need as much protection as that spiral wrap or sheathing would provide. So that's really all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. You just need to know how to get that plug out, put on a street elbow, and then run your hoses together. So hopefully you found this video informative and helpful. If you have questions about the compact Dynastar pump, the autofill shutoff valve, the remote fill manifold, or any other Graco product, please reach out and contact us because we are always happy to hear from you.